wonderful um, playground for astronomy, these gorgeous objects and physics that we can study in the cosmos, um, actually only re represents about 4% of the total mass energy in the universe. Astronomers should be pretty humble people. Um, I haven't met any yet that are. <laughs> <laughs> so we have dark energy and dark matter, right? Dark just means we haven't a clue. But that means that there are challenges and new things to be found out about the universe. In, in potentially, one of those things is that we don't really understand gravity. And George Moot and other people will be talking about this uh, pieces of the universe that we don't understand. We now do SETI at optical wavelengths, as well as the radio that Frank Drake started in 1960. Um, at optical wavelengths, we're looking for very powerful, very bright, very short pulses of light, pulses that last a nanosecond or so. Nature doesn't seem to be able to do that, but we can do it with lasers and large telescopes, we could make very detectable signals, even with our crude, very young technology. So this is using other people's telescopes. We are also now have just finished the first phase of construction of our own telescope intended to do SETI and radio astronomy 24-7. This is the Allen Telescope Array built in Northern California. Allen refers to Paul Allen, the co-founder of Microsoft, who was brave enough to go out and fund all of the technology development and innovation it took to create this telescope and has funded the first phase of construction. And Paul has said from the beginning that he wants partners in order to grow this telescope out. Um, the nice thing about this telescope, which is the first time we've ever built an LNSD, a large number of small dishes. So we've taken these small dishes of aluminum and steel and hooked them together with silicon um, in a way that is unique. This gives us a panchromatic, wide field, snapshot radio camera. So because we have small dishes and we have um, RF equipment that can look over the entire frequency range from half a gigahertz to 10 gigahertz at once. Uh, and because we have lots of spectral channels, we have this incredible radio camera that we've never, ever had before. Supposed differences. So SETI has this marvelous ability to hold up a mirror to the entire planet and say, look, when compared to anything out there, you are all the same. We need to trivialize the differences among us. And then, if this project never succeeds in finding a signal, if it can cause this change of perspective, then I think it will have been one of the most profound endeavors of humankind. I'm, I'm reminded by a quote I heard from Neil Armstrong um, who I, I'm sorry isn't here right now, but Neil was asked about what the Apollo program actually had benefited humanity, what had been the best thing about it. And Neil said, well, in the end, he thought that its real legacy was that it gave the humans on this planet a bigger view of the universe than they usually got from their back porch. Thank you.